What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to fix network lag, a high latency and packet loss while playing Star Citizen. This should be quite an easy tutorial, everything you need will be listed in the description below. Make sure to account for any VPN service which could be running on your system, or turn off your VPN when in game. Before making any tweaks on your system, I'd recommend to verify the Star Citizen server status. Everything you need will be listed in the description below. Here you can verify if the servers are operational, as well as any reported incidents below. In case the servers seem unaffected, then the issue might be related to your own network connection, to software running on your system or to the game files. You should also test your own connection. I prefer to use speedtest.net. Make sure that you have a stable app and download speed and that your ping is not exceeding 100 milliseconds. In case it's higher than 100 milliseconds, then you will have to make a few changes to your network connection. Use an Ethernet cable if you can. Restart your router or modem if you haven't done this in a while, and reduce the amount of devices connected to the same network. When this is done, open up the robots Space Industries Launcher. Here, in your options, select Verify. This will take a minute to re-download any missing or replace corrupted files. You can then close this window and open up your task manager by right-clicking your taskbar and selecting it. Here, navigate to your resource monitor as you can see in the video. In the network tab, open up the processes with network activity. And after a few seconds, you will see every process using your network connection. This might be your browser running in the background Steam, or a download bottlenecking your connection. I suggest you to only add the processes which you know won't break your operating system. Next, open up your command prompt by searching for CMD and hitting enter. Use the command ping google.com. This command will check your latency and packet loss to Google servers. If your ping is higher than 100 milliseconds, or if you encounter any packet loss, then you should make a few changes to your connection and follow the next tweaks. Use the command ipconfig slash flush DNS. This will flush and reset the content of your DNS resolver cache. Using this command will in any case improve your latency issues. When this is done, we will change your DNS server address in case the problem is still caused by your network connection. Use the shortcut Windows key and R and in this dialog box, enter control and hit enter. This will open up your control center. From here, navigate to network and internet, network and sharing center, and here select your connection. This will open up this window, containing some general information about your connection. Navigate to properties, and lastly, double click the internet protocol version 4. Select to use the following DNS server addresses option, and as your preferred DNS server, use 8888, and as your alternate DNS server, use 8844. These are the official public DNS server addresses from Google, which are safe to use. Lastly, in case you still have network related problems, then you most likely have software running on your system, which is hindering you from playing the game. To fix this, I suggest ending processes from running in your task manager of recently installed programs which can change your game files, or use up your available resources, such as OBS, Shadowplay, CCleaner, or Adobe applications, to troubleshoot which program is causing the issue. In case you still have latency and lag issues, then you should verify your connection to your ISP, and make sure that you're using a decent data plan. You can troubleshoot this step by switching your connection to your personal hotspot for example. If you have issues loading in-game content, then you should delete your temporary files. Search for percentage temp percentage and hit enter. All of these files are saved by your programs and should be deleted once in a while. Make sure to delete everything in this folder. Some files might remain, so just leave them there. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.